this year's Dan Potty Award recipient grew up in Brookline, Mass. And I know a little bit about Brookline. My oldest grandson, Evan, is an awards English teacher at that high school, just started recently. I understand it is one of the best high schools in the state of Massachusetts. Well, Brookline is adjacent to Boston and Boston's gasoline alley. And at a very early age, our recipient was bitten by the proverbial racing bug. And that led him eventually to Nord Arena. As a young adult, he went to BU, Boston University, where he received an undergrad degree. I also have connections there as well. I think here in this room we have a few people who went to BU and graduated. My granddaughter was supposed to sing, just got a degree, an advanced degree from BU this spring, and also my grandson who worked in Brookline just got an advanced degree from, from BU. I was really impressed with that graduation ceremony. If you've had the good fortune of buying some Coastal 181 books, hot cars and cool drivers, and steady Eddie, You'll certainly see this individual picture all over the place. And even wrote a column in the book about Eddie Flemkin. Now I'm sure he knows at this point who he is. Along with Lou Boyd, Dick Bergeron, who was one of the founding members of the Spring Sizzler. And we all know how exciting that still is today. He has been a, mere, a near member forever. If you came to the annual meeting when I introduced Ave Sylvia, I said he came to one of the early, earliest races that was held in a Roman day. Well, I think Andre was there for that, and I think Bruce Cohen, who was our recipient this year, also was there for the same event. He has been in, in the near sidelines, if you will, for a long, long time, and he still is, and he's chairman of the selection committee. Ladies and gentlemen, winner of the Dan Party Award, Bruce Cohen. Danny was a good friend of mine, but first, when Mr. Massey uh, mentioned Brookline High, I am proud to say that I was thrown out of that place. So I went to the Bad Boys School, the New Preparatory School in Brookline, and in Cambridge, rather, and there I met the late Butchie Walsh, NEMA champion, Skinny Fred Sears, who was some of the early impetus behind Donnie McTavish, and Bobby Rifton, who was Marvin Rifton's son from m and Tire. So Brookline, they did me a favor, and I love it. I would like to thank Nier. I would like to thank Mary, Mrs. Hardy. Danny was the backbone of Nier. He, um, he worked hard, he worked day and night. He was very opinionative, opinionative. He was very authoritative. It was Danny's way on the highway, but he was always willing to listen. He worked at Stafford for many, many years as race director and you could say he's one of the founders of the SK. But I'd also like to thank my wife. When I first met my wife 20 years ago, when she's over there, she said, you get the weirdest phone calls in the world. Said, what are you talking about? Bugsy, Bonesy, Birdie, Nasty, Space Lady. What are these people? They're like good racing friends. And they still are to this day. Danny, like I said, was one of the founders of this organization. But this award, and I really appreciate it, Danny was a good friend of mine, he'd come to Boston, we'd get together, and he always liked to go get a, at a good Jewish deli, a corned beef sandwich with a Dr. Brown's cream soda. Well, that son of a gun, as he was getting sick, he still owes me a sandwich, and one day he'll collect it. But this award is not about, for me, it is to me, but I have, we have in here a wonderful selection committee. They work hard, they work very deliberately, we argue, we don't argue, we have heated conversations, we have heated meetings, but everyone who's on the committee, and they're from all disciplines, whether it's open wheel, modifieds, you know, late models from the north, are very authoritative. One of the greatest things we did about three years ago is we put Hall of Fame, three Hall of Famers on the committee, and they served for one year. Denny Zimmerman's been on it, Billy Greco, Bobby Potter, Bobby Dragon, Billy Harmon, and what's interesting, when we're at our meetings, which is always held with Ronnie Bouchard, one of his dealerships, it is very interesting to get the perspective 
not from behind a typewriter or a Nazi booth, but from, from the guys who really raced with these people. And that is a very cool thing. But I would like to thank the selection committee, and certain people like Davey Dykes, Ari Sylvia, Pete Tanardi, Pete Newsham, these guys, you have no idea how much time they put in doing this. People accuse the selection committee of this and that, but I will guarantee you it's 1,000% honest. Some people don't get in. Some people took a long time for them to get in. We don't control this. The selection committee has its votes, and the inductees have their votes. And it's always been a very, very interesting vote. But my award, I dedicate it to all the people that I can call up in a minute's notice. Hey, all right, what's this? Or Sonata, hey, what do you think of this, Peter? Or Dave Dykes, or anybody. And I also appreciate people like uh, Pete Falcone to do announcing, John Spence, Jack Root. These are the people you can always call and say, hey, pal, uh, I need to do, help me do an, in, an induction at the Hall of Fame. They are always right there. So for all the people that help out, um, a lot of them behind the scenes, a lot of them with a lot of hard work that nobody see, that nobody really sees, this award is for you. And from my heart, I thank them. Thank you.